appreciate you joining us on Valley News Live as we look in to the bridge. We're seeing a lot more fall colors there. Are we crossing that bridge into fall? Well, maybe, maybe not, but it's Shields Weather Kid Night, and I want to introduce you to a, a fun fellow, Grant Amer. Step out here, Grant. Now, you are from Finley, and you're homeschooled. How old are you, young man? Uh, 13. 13. Yeah, very sharply dressed Please. to talk about the weather. All right, what are your favorite things to study? Uh, history. History, very good. Well, we talk about weather history sometimes, and anyone you want to say hi to before we get started? Here? Uh, all my friends in Finley and all my relatives. Very good. We'll give them a big wave and uh, step up in front of me and tell everybody what the temperature and current conditions are in Fargo. What's the number look like? 68. 68 degrees. Now, when you were outside, did you notice that it was overly windy or? Yeah. Little breezy out there. It's blowing at 15 miles per hour right now. How about Grand Forks? Look at the sky there. Does it look clear or cloudy? It's cloudy, 62. Very good. And that wind, 23 miles per hour. So a little extra hairspray, not out of the question, across the valley. All right, point out the coolest temperatures you see when you look out to the west. Um, 55. Okay, and where is that? Go ahead and point it out. Way up here. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's Langdon. So that cold air is coming out of Canada, moving this way. Valley City has 61. Why don't we point out where it's a little bit warmer? That would be for our Minnesota counties. As we look off to the east, Grant, why don't you point out a couple of temperatures out there? 68. Okay, and what town is that in? For, okay, oh, well, you're looking up there, and Bemidji is oh, yeah. nice and warm. And it's 70 in Wapaton, so we have warm temperatures across the valley. <laughs> Take a step back with me. Point out what the, what we're looking at here. What's all this white stuff? Uh, fog. I mean, clouds. Uh, yeah, clouds, fog that's up in the sky. Okay, and then we're seeing a lot of green on here. What is that? Uh, storms. Storms. So we had morning storms move through our neck of the woods. Severe storms through the Bagley area. Dropped some one-inch hail early, early this morning before the sun even rose. Do we have any storms or rain moving through the valley right now? Yeah, some. Okay, where is that? Point it out. Up there a little way. Yeah, up, up, way up here by Canada, really, is where yeah. the showers are. So if we're going to see sprinkles tonight, I think most of them stay up to the north. Why don't we point out what's going on across the region, all that wind that you felt today. What kind of air is being blown into our region right now? Chilly. Chilly air. All right, very good. Let's get to the forecast this evening. Um, had a couple people asking me, does it look like it's going to stay windy? Well, our winds will remain gusting over uh, 20 miles per hour, so it stays windy. But what happens to those clouds, Grant? What, what happened to those by 10 o'clock? They're, they're heading towards the east. Heading towards the east. So we'll have clearing skies out west. Then it'll still be breezy. Then overnight we go to bed. Might be a sprinkle out to the far east. But what changes overnight? What did you notice? It gets more cloudy. Gets more cloudy out to the west out here. And then what about morning temperatures? Where is it going to be the coolest? What area? Point that out. Um, Devil's Lake. Very good. So we'll have some temperatures up this way that will be very close to the 30s. And that's a chilly start to your day. Now, elsewhere, we're going to start our day with temperatures in the low to mid 40s. But our focus is on all that rain out there to the west. I'm going to set it in motion and tell me where it goes by lunchtime. Uh, Jamestown and... And that's a little it. bit by Grand Forks. Yeah, a little bit by Grand Forks. So those areas may need the umbrella as you're going for lunch. Does it look as windy tomorrow? Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to have as much wind. It's only going to be gusting to 10, 15 miles per hour. But cool temperatures indeed. Now, after school there, where does that rain go? It goes towards the east goes toward the east and most of our southern counties look like they'll have the best chance at rain. Maybe a few sprinkles up there. Where will the sunniest skies be Friday afternoon at four o'clock? Um, Devil's Lake. Okay, very good. Way up here by Devil's Lake, we'll have those 60s and sunshine. Clearing skies into the evening, but if you're going to a Friday night football game or spending time outside, does it look warm out? Yeah, no, not really. No. In the 50s. Yeah, we're going to be in the 40s and 50s tomorrow evening, so it'll be cool. Bring that jacket if you're heading out to watch your favorite uh, person. Play some Friday night football. Where's the frosty stuff for tomorrow morning? Um, in, um... Uh, Way up over here? Yeah. That's over by Minot. That's to our west. Now, tomorrow morning, that's where the frost will be, and maybe in Towner County a chance of frost. Well, I think Saturday morning... In our viewing area, the Northern Valley could see some frost. Maybe in Finley, you'll have to give me a report from there. Okay, yeah. temperatures tomorrow, where's it going to be the coolest? Um, 
Grand Forks, 62. 62 Grand Forks, 61 Jamestown, some 50s down to the south, but most of us only peaking in the low to mid-60s. Why don't you give us the Finley bus stop forecast for tomorrow? Um, 43. 43, chilly, cloudy, kind of a gray start to the day. Recess weather, I know that's one of your favorite subjects. <laughs> Tell me the temperature. 56. Okay, not too hot out there. Still cloudy, and then after school, does it get better? Yeah, a little better at 64. Okay, a little better, still below average, so Hutch graded that a C. Do you believe this cloud was showing up in the skies near Clearbrook this morning where those storms were passing through? Look at that. That's called a roll cloud. Really kind of cool to study. Yeah. Seven-day forecast. Tell everybody about Saturday. What do you see? It's 72 degrees. Very good. So we get a little better on Saturday for the big football game. And then Sunday, is it warmer or colder? Um... Warmer. Warmer. And when do you think the next best chance of rain will be in the seven-day planner? Thursday. Yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to see some more showers and thunder showers after a hot one on Monday. So we do get some more summer-like weather. Grant, step over here with me. I got to tell you, you did an outstanding job. And young fellow, you are dressed for success, looking sharp. Did I hear you had a family celebration this weekend? Yep, a wedding. A wedding, very good. Well, you looked sharp for that as well, I'm sure. Yes, he's get, you're, you are uh, giving Hutch a run for his money. It's good. <laughs> Somebody's got to. Somebody's oh, he got he to. did an awesome job. You Thanks did. for coming in. Yeah, Outstanding nice work. Nice job. All right, up next, it's a combination of faith and technology. How an app can keep you connected to the Pope.